about the smart assistants from the big three and four, uh, but there's an open source alternative coming out here from a company called Mycroft AI. Right. And I'm here with Eric Jurgensen to tell us about it. Yeah, so I'm Eric, I'm VP of Business Development at Mycroft AI. We are the open alternative to Siri and Alexa. We know that we can build a great voice experience without storing every single recording, um, every single interaction that a consumer will have with our smart speaker. Um, so we don't do that. We don't store those recordings, we don't store that data, and so there's nothing to be hacked and exposed, there's nothing to data mine and sell to third parties or sell to marketers. Um, so the open source assistant's been out in the world for about three years now. We had a Kickstarter back in 2015 for our Mark I smart speaker. Um, and then shortly thereafter released a Raspberry Pi image that made it real easy for people to come and start developing for Mycroft. Um, but what we're doing with the Mark II here is taking that software, taking that learning that we've done over the last few years and putting it in a really easy to use, awesome experience consumer package um, that anyone can have in their home, trust that it's respecting them and their privacy, but still get a great experience comparable with Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri or Cortana. So everything in this smart speaker is stored locally? Um, so really there's just not nothing stored. Um, we use a bit of a hybrid approach um, just because of the necessity of doing SCT on a, on a powerful engine for a text. SCT? Speech to text, speech recognition. Okay. Yeah, so um, wakeward spotting happens on the device. Um, that's uh, software that we built called Precise. We send up an audio recording to our servers, transcribe it, and send the text file back down. Once the audio file is done with that, we delete it. Um, we're working to bring that back in service into people's homes um, through an open source personal backend. Um, but then the natural language processing, all the skills on the device, and then you've got a choice between um, an on-device um, voice to respond in or a cloud voice that sounds a little better, is a little bit faster. Nice, nice. So uh, when do you hope to have this to market? Sure, so um, we know that people are gonna care less about the date that it's delivered and more about whether or not it works. Um, our goal is the end of Q1, um, but it might be a little later than that. It is still on Indiegogo in demand, so we're working on uh, the crowdfunding aspect and getting a few more orders in. Um, we'd love to have your, uh, your support. Well, that sounds good. So uh, what are you uh, picturing a price point on this? On, or on Indiegogo right now, it's $189. Um, that's the pre-order price. MSRP is going to be $199. So is this Linux based? Yeah, yeah. So we run on Raspbian, we run on Ubuntu, we run on KDE. Um, and this one's going to be a little combo of uh, Ubuntu 18.04 um, plus some, some KDE QT visuals. Okay, so I've got a Raspberry Pi at home. Can I run your uh, open source alternative here? Absolutely. Um, our our PyCraft image works out of the box. Um, you grab a Raspberry Pi, USB microphone, a speaker, monitor, set it up, and you could be running in, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. Oh man, this is, I finally found something to do with my Raspberry Absolutely. Pi. So if people want to learn more about Mycroft AI, where would they go? They can go to mycroft.ai. All right, that's very good. And by the way, I was corrected. This is not the Mycroft from, uh, uh, <laughs> from Sherlock Holmes. From Sherlock Holmes. This is from Hind Lanes, right? Yeah, so transitive property. Um, Mike, the, the sentient computer in uh, The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, ma named himself after Mycroft Holmes from the, the Conan Doyle. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's, a, it's, all, it's all a big happy yeah, family. It's all, it all comes around. All right, very good.